Tyler. I'm a handyman for the average man. Today's video is going to be showing you how to replace your existing floodlight or a similar lantern that I have like this to a ring floodlight cam. And this is motion activated security camera with floodlight, a really bright light um, with two-way talk and siren. This connects to 110 to 240 volt wiring replaces your existing floodlight. So we're good there. And so let's go ahead and turn off the power. You can see I have the light on. I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch the breaker now. Also, if you haven't already, please check out my other video, How to Install Your Ring Doorbell. All right, power's off. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the box, see what we got. All right, say hello to Ring. All right, so here's the actual device itself. You've got your camera with your floodlights and then a mounting bracket. Got a installation kit here. And let's see what this is. So we got a sticker, light switch stickers. So we got our instructions here. And let's see what we have in our installation kit. We have some screws, lots of screws, wow. That is a lot of screws. All right, we got our, our traditional ring screwdriver with a star head. Then we got some wing nuts and a hook. All right. This shows you a general idea how it works. You have the junction box, the mounting bracket that we're going to put on top, bracket screws, light lock collar, which is right here, with your adjustable knobs with the lights, and also your motion detector here. And so you got your wire nuts connecting the wires. And that's what we're gonna do with the existing wires we have. All right, so it says the first step is to go ahead and just open up these bracket, these knobs, so they can rotate and we can easily access the mounting screws. So just enough to where they can move. It says go ahead and rotate the camera 180 degrees. So we just need to loosen it up here. Okay. Now we can tighten it back in place. And this can always be adjusted later on as well. All right, so now we need to go ahead and dismount our existing floodlight or lantern. My particular one has these two washers. I'll show you. Very small little washer caps. All right, with the power off, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the wires that we have. We have these wing nuts, we're just gonna unscrew those. So this is the existing setup that we have. So white off the white, copper wire after copper wire, and black off the black. Alright, so I went ahead and got 
this uh, bracket onto uh, secured on the wall anchored on the wall i do want to point out that the ring instructions say take off the existing bracket and replace it with the rings bracket so because i wasn't able to attach to the actual junction box itself because i have this little platform and i, I had to leave the bracket in place and kind of uh, attach to the those other bolts here and so this is a little different than what you will actually do uh, if you don't have this type of setup that i did so this is kind of unusual i had to be a little innovative for that the next step is getting this hook and i do want to point out i do want to point out that just follow the sticker uh, this side goes down of course okay so this side goes down this side goes up this is going to be your grounding screw in a second but the main thing is you want the wires coming up in the middle and so now in this little bag you got this little hook so you can just hook right here all right so now we actually have the actual floodlight cam so we're going to use the hook to just secure the weight secure the weight of the floodlight. Now we're gonna attach the wires. You got three sets of wires here. You got a copper. Your copper wire is gonna be your ground wire. So we're gonna go ahead and get this attached to this other copper. You can use, you can use either your existing wire nuts or the new one that ring gives you. So this is gonna connect to the copper here and you can even twist it around like that okay so I, I just kind of wrapped it around itself a little bit but then we're going to use the wire nut and basically how it works is it just has this thread in the middle you're going to stick it in the middle there both ends and then tighten it okay so next now that we have the copper wire from the floodlight connected to the other copper wire that's our ground wire now we need to go ahead and connect this this uh, ground wire to this ground screw. If I have to loosen it up a little bit, and literally all we're doing is just wrapping it around this green screw. This one has a strong connection, so everything is grounded. Okay, nice and tight. Okay, so now our white wire is going to be our neutral wire. You just take off this little piece here. And we're going to do the same thing. Connect, connect them, put them in the wire nut. Inside. Give it a good twist until it's nice and tight. Okay. Now we need to attach our black wire to other black wire. The black wire is the hot wire. And use your last wing nut. And now we need to push all the wires through the center here. Again, making sure everything is nice and tight. Alright, so I want to point out that it's not flush in the back because of the wires. I still need to push it in, in a little bit more. And so because of that, I don't have enough thread to be able to screw that on. So we need to go ahead and push the wires back uh, more if possible. Alright, so I finally was able to get the brackets in place. And so now what we can do is we can loosen these up and adjust our our lights where we need them, our floodlights.
and also the same with the camera. All right, so now that we have it all in position, it looks good, we got these tight. We need to go ahead and go to the app, the Ring app, and add a device. All right, I have the flood, floodlight cam set up. So there you go, looks good. All right, so I hope you all liked the video, found it helpful. And if you have any comments, questions, please comment below. Appreciate it, and y'all have a great day. Thank you. I am a handyman for the average man. Thanks for watching. Bye.